So this is going to be a tough one because, of course, uh, to put it mildly, Trump is a polarizing figure. But I think people appreciate this channel because I am willing to not necessarily go along with the crowd on everything. Listen, there's times in my life I do bandwagon, uh, but not with him. So let us try to get to the trailer. But I have to do a little a little context because people who are not from America may not know this. Though I think The Apprentice was very popular. So there's a movie coming out called The Apprentice. And it's obviously a play on words because Trump had a show called the Apprentice. And I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. When the thing premiered, I was kind of addicted to it. I saw, I think, every episode of the first three seasons. Like, I can remember some key things. I Like, the names are vague, because I don't remember too many of the actual contestants. But I have pretty good memories. I think it was pretty good entertainment. As a reality show, it, the challenges were interesting, and it presented some fascinating uh, insights into the guy. And I'm not going to lie, Trump came off pretty good. I mean, that was the point. It was to promote him. But no, I think he was a pretty sharp guy when he made his judgments and cutting people out or doing, you're fired or whatever. I mean, he's not a total idiot. Uh, you know, he's not Aaron Smith Levin. Well, we'll put it that way. He's not a complete clown. I, I think he's very clownish, but there is something going on here. So that gets us to the movie trailer. I haven't not seen the movie. And I'll be honest, the uh, trailer was not that impressive. I think it just did what it's supposed to do, saying, okay, we're going to do a biography, but on young Trump. This is before he gets bigger and even more crazy and monstrous. So we're getting a snapshot of him in his early years and what led to who he is now and why the way he is. This film is not really for me. I've already done a lot of research on Trump. I'm well aware of some of this. And apparently it doesn't even go into his much deeper, darker past. Like, this guy's father was part of the KKK. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. And he's been running from that for quite a while. So Trump is, I think, a lot more disturbing and dark than people think he is. On the other hand, he's a lot more normal. I mean, the idea of having a cynical hustler what, groom a young guy to be a really evil businessman? We've seen this a lot of times before, right? So apparently Trump had an evil mentor guiding him. Right. Evil guy mentors other evil guy. Yeah, we, we know this. We know this. So it's not really revealing that much we didn't know. That said, the performances do look strong. It does have a snappy visual style, but it is very derivative. If you've seen Goodfellas from Martin Scorsese, you, you kind of seen this film already. Yeah, and again, I, I don't dislike Scorsese. I admire his work a lot, but and it's not his fault, but boy, Goodfellas really did a lot of damage to cinema because people have just been lazily copying that thing for a long, long time. Again, I don't think Scorsese intended to do that, but he's kind of created this benchmark for people to just do these kind of rise and fall stories. And inevitably, they just keep going back to Goodfellas. And this looks like good fellas, but now he's just one good fella, and it turns out he's not so good. But that said, apparently from the movie reviews, it is fair. It is not demonizing Trump. It does show he is a man, right? Flawed man, but he is a man. And listen, uh, people on in the comments have said, why don't you do more explicit political content? I want to. I'm just getting overwhelmed with the Aaron Smith Levin stuff. I mean, Aaron just keeps putting out crazy stuff, so I got to respond to that. But that said, I will try to do more whatever you want to call it, political content. And we have an election and it's coming up. The election is going to be here uh, soon, election day. So I'm going to make some more commentaries on it. Uh, but as for Trump himself, I disagree with the guy 90% of the time. But listen, I've seen both sides of the story. Like the people who hate him just characterize him as a neo-Nazi moron. I think a lot of that is true, but the other side is also true. Like, you know, the Hispanic and black people, even women who are fanatics for him, I've met these people. They're not all idiots. And they really believe it. And they're not stupid. So I've seen both sides of the story. Like, there really are intelligent black people who like Trump. And then there are intelligent black people who hate him. Uh, there are intelligent women who hate Donald Trump and think he's the worst monster ever. And there are intelligent women who think, so what? The question is, if I, am I going to benefit? Is he good for me? If it is, I like the guy. So... I've seen both sides of the story. It, it just seems to me he is what he is. He's an opportunist. He's framing himself in the way his believers want him to be. 
But I think, and this is what the film is good at, and I've not seen the film, I want to be careful, but the trailer, I think, is a good snapshot. He's a bit of a chameleon, right? If you know Trump back in the day, in the 80s, he was actually a more liberal guy, right? Even in the 1990s, he was fairly liberal. But then he's like, he's seeing the winds and saying, oh, people want a more right-wing kind of politics? Guess what? He becomes more right-wing. And this, we're getting back to Aaron Smith-Levin, because Aaron is the same way. You go to his early stuff, he was more liberal, he's more relaxed. He wasn't like this, but now he's just all over the place. He's saying gay jokes, Jewish jokes, racist jokes. It's like, what is happening here? Again, he's just reading the tea leaves. He's just seeing the audience and saying the audience likes this stuff, the audience wants this stuff. So guess what? He's going to start doing this stuff. It's just a story oldest time that when you're an opportunist, you just go with the crowd, right? The problem is when the crowd turns against you, well, you're going to be in trouble because you don't stand for anything. So uh, Trump and Aaron are kind of like basically two sides of the same coin. That They're very opportunistic. They're seeing the short term thing and they're just seeing, well, this is where a lot of people are going. I'm just going to play act. Do I even really believe any of this? Probably not. Like, I do think Aaron and Trump do have a lot of this venom in them. I do think they are really what they are. They're pretty evil. But I think it's also the audience. The audience is wanting them to be more outrageous or crazy or stupid or clownish. So guess what? For the money and the fame, that's what they're going to do. And it's a very human thing to want those things. But I, I don't give Aaron or Trump too much slack, especially Trump. I mean, Trump grew up rich. He doesn't need more fame and money, but that's what he wants. So he's willing to play a clown to be more rich and famous. So it's kind of a tragic story here, but it's very repetitive. So I will give the movie a chance. It looks good enough. I will give the trailer a 6.5. I think it just gets the job done, but it looks just above average. There's nothing going to be, it's not even going to be a masterpiece. It's just going to be like, oh, okay. It's an interesting snapshot at young Trump. And the way things are going, I'm sure Aaron Smith-Levin will eventually get his own movie. I don't think it'll be a good movie. I don't think it'll even be a fascinating movie, but it's like Trump. It's like, who is this guy? Well, you know, he's kind of just an average guy. Got a little bit of money and fame and it went to his head and now he's just acting. He's acting crazy, right? Because he just can't handle this level of responsibility. So instead of just calming down and reassessing, he's just playing more and more into his own image. And like Trump, eventually it's going to, it's going to collapse. Like we look at P. Diddy. At one time, no one thought P. Diddy was touchable, right? No one thought he would ever be in jail. $600 million. He's still in jail. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to Trump. It's going to happen to Aaron. And when it does happen and they're in prison, they're going to start crying. Oh, what did happen? I don't understand this. I was just drinking alcohol and, and smoking and hanging out with my friends. I was like, no, if you run big criminal conspiracies and do it openly, you're going to get caught. It's not that hard to see. So the only question is not, are they going to go to prison? But how long? Uh, P. Diddy looks like he's going to go away for uh, ooh, probably a long time, at least one decade. I don't think he's going to get that light a sentence. Trump, eh, maybe he'll get off with a few years, but he's probably going to go to jail too. Aaron, uh, he'll be very lucky if he only serves five years in jail, in my humble opinion. But that's just my opinion.